Now it's the weekend and the kids are bored. You don't want them to watch television all day, so you just tell them to go build a hovercraft. Yes, I do mean one of those amazing vehicles that hover above the ground on a cushion of air. And I know they used to be very big and complicated to build, but nowadays, well, just take a look. Everyone's got one. And in case you're wondering how they all got the same idea and how they all managed to build something as technically innovative as a hovercraft, well, here's the answer. You can download the instructions for making one from the internet. But we wanted to find out just how easy it is to follow the instructions, so we hired a team of reasonably technically minded students, gave them the instructions, a small budget, and a very tight deadline, and just stood back to see what would happen. This is the Technical University in Ilmenau, where we've arranged to meet four physics students. They've already printed out instructions for building a hovercraft from the internet. Now it's time to put theory into practice. The first stop is the hardware store, where they have to buy everything they need. The sales clerk is keen to help them with their unusual project. He makes sure they get the strongest sheeting. I think if we take one and a half meters, then we'll have two one and a half meter squares. If it doesn't work the first time, we'll have enough for a second try. And we'll also need a leaf blower. There are two models to choose from. So there's the blower. I'd say that's the one. If it's the best one, the most powerful one, we need full power. We'll shorten it here. The shorter it is, the faster it'll be. Less friction means more power, so we want a shorter pipe. And we'll be able to get down lower, which means we won't have to worry about falling off. Next stop, the wood shop to get a two centimeter thick wooden plank. It can't be too heavy or the leaf blower won't be able to raise it and the human cargo off the ground. The boys are now discussing the best way to mount the leaf blower, and the plank is being sanded into shape. But how are they going to attach the blower to the plank? Does it need to be glued, or will stapling be better? If we staple it, we have to make sure that we're not under the plank. It could work. We could really saw it off here and stick it in. A lot of sawing and rasping, and then... Perfect! It's standing up on its own. Last stop, the university building where it's time to put all the pre-assembled parts together. So far, they've spent 200 euros on their homemade hovercraft, so it's not exactly a bargain. They've also discovered that the instructions are not that clear. It's time to improvise. This says two inches, that's five centimeters. This is the moment of truth. This little plastic disc is being put on. It's necessary to create the tire shape of the hovercraft. Everything depends now on how precisely they've followed the instructions, but the students are satisfied they've done all they can. The strange-looking machine is already attracting a lot of attention, but will it work? And here's the strange-looking machine right here in the studio. And here they are, our reasonably technically talented students from Ilmenau. Come on, come on up here. It's Martin, hello, hello. Peter, hello. Sabine, and Christoph. Welcome. Are you proud of what you've done? Oh, yes, of course. So you're reasonably uh, optimistic that it will work, I understand? Oh, yes, we are pretty sure. Who wants to try? Uh, you were the last, so you have to do it. Come on up, give her a round of applause, please. What's your name? Adisa. Adisa? Yes. Okay, Adisa, are you insured? Everything okay? You're feeling fine? I'm a little bit 
bit nervous. You're a, bit, a little bit nervous. I don't think you have to be, but you never know. So please take a seat. Maybe you can explain how she has to sit on our hovercraft. Here, and here, or maybe um, cross your legs. Yes, and uh, move a bit to uh, to the front. Why, why, why does she have to do that? What's important about that? Um, because the center of gravity should be in the middle of the wooden plate. Okay. Yes, yes, that uh, seems okay. Um, this is the button for starting the hovercraft. Yes, um, let's try it. Push it. Hang on, hang on. Okay, a bit to the front. Yes, yes, yes. Great. Okay, okay. Just the microphone. Maybe we could have the rough cats coming over. Send her back over. Houston, we do have a liftoff here. Give him a round of applause. It's working. Come on. It looks like Odessa is having a lot of fun. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. It worked. It worked perfectly. Odessa, how are you feeling? Um. <laughs> a little bit dizzy. I understand. Thank you very much. Give her a round of applause. Odessa, thank you. Just one last question before we part. How does it work? Well, the leaf blower blows air into the plastic sheeting. It's still flexible. Perhaps we can lift it up so I can show. And in a plastic sheeting, we, we've cut some small holes. So the air can stream out of it and creates an air cushion, uh, which allows um, the hovercraft to slide over the floor without almost any friction. Oh, wonderful. It really did work well. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for being with us. And thank you for constructing the hovercraft. Bye. And if you'd like to build your own hovercraft or just to see some of today's clips again, don't forget you can always drop by.